Uh, we, today we are going to look at some of the new features. I have these features enlisted here and one by one, we are going to look at our Monday screen, Monday, uh, Monday board. And uh, let me share, go to now Monday board now. So first feature is my work. So you already know that Monday already has my work. If you are using monday.com, uh, then you already know that there is my work feature. But uh, Monday.com has done some uh, significant changes in that uh, look and feel. So now I, I want to take you there. So how you go to your my work is, uh, so I'm just going to go back. Okay. So this is my homepage, achievement.monday.com. And on your homepage, uh, I think last time I also, there are some significant changes which Monday did in their user interface. So this is the new uh, window where everything is uh, super organized here. All the This is the horizontal ribbon where you can see all these tabs. And now my work is here. So you click on the my work. And basically, I'm just going to close this navigation. OK. So, so this is the new my work. And uh, Monday is releasing it. Uh, it's a gradual release. So uh, if your account currently is, does not have that, uh, you can reach out to us or your account manager and then they will be able to enable. Or you can go here in Monday Labs, if you know. And here you have that. Maybe you can search here, My Work. See, New My Work Layout. So so this, so now, of course, for us, it's already activated. But you see how it is not uh, yet activated. So, so you just activate it, and then it will appear here. So I think you yourself can do this. If it is there in your Monday Labs, if it appears, then definitely you can do it on your own. Otherwise, you can reach out to your account manager right here. And then you have to click here. And you don't need any admin permission also for that. It's here. OK. OK, so OK, so what is new here? Uh, so basically, if you know, Monday has uh, so in my work, basically, you can see all the items which are assigned to you. Right. Uh, but this this uh, part, of course, uh, was a little bit crowded because you can imagine all the uh, all the uh, tasks which are assigned to me, they were appearing here. So Monday.com has uh, you can see here. It's a little bit like change. Uh, it's better uh, user interface here. If you see, uh, the status column is also uh, looks better because instead of taking this whole place, it's like only this much uh, square is appearing here. And also, uh, there is a people column. Now, there was only one status column, if you remember. And if you want to bring another one, you had to go into customization. But now there are like status, priority, and also people and date column. And then this is something new, which is uh, right now it's a date view by default. It's I didn't do any changes. I just activated the new feed, new uh, my work, and this this whole view was appear appeared here. So I um, so the date view is by default. But if you click here. You can you can click now. I'm going to change it to stat, status view. So now, if you see uh, earlier, this my work was always. I'm going I'm going to go back. Always like past dates, today and this week and so on, right? But sometimes we are not really concerned about the due dates or when the task is assigned. We just want to see what is open or what's the states of my my task, right? So, so there is now status view. So now you can see my statuses are like all orange status are here basically. Are like it's it gets segregated by statuses. So, and I feel this is great because maybe I just want to see the stuck task, right? Uh, I may not want to see when it was assigned, but I just want to see what are my st stuck tasks, right? So right now there are zero, but it, it basically it just takes the red, hold, stuck, and then no and loss. So basically it shows me red, 
because you know monday is uh, color coordinated right so they have that color coordination for in progress working on it and then consider and things like that so so we have to be mindful also so green is you see green is now done right so all i think they have uh, monday understands like smartly that these are the statuses status column because every status column uh, meaning can be different on each board right but you see how smartly monday has segregated this completed done all mean the same we just want to see which are maybe there is like deal board so you can see one over there or resolved or approved we must have used green statuses for that and you know green status is done status right done column so so this is really cool so we looked at date view we looked at status view then there is a priority view too because we now have priority column here um if you are monday pro then you already know that there is a separate priority column here in monday so you can see that too or, or you can see board view now you see all the items are segregated by board then there is the last is again single list okay uh, and then other things remain same now i'm going back to my date view other thing remains same like customize and you can also see which board you want to see let's say that you want you don't want to crowd this place right so you can just um, include some of the boards and remove some of the other boards right just all which makes sense or which are important for you you can just put, keep that, that those here or by default it will take all the boards into consideration okay which on whichever board you are assigned okay so that was my work uh, some changes in the layout and some more views uh, you can also hide done items and hide empty groups that's new hide empty groups um, hide done items were already there hide empty groups then you can directly add a new item from here okay this is also new because uh, see that thing uh, so let's say if you are working on something or let's say you're a manager right and and then you want to assign the task right directly from here so this is so cool because i no longer have to go to that particular board as a manager and add that item i just this is really cool so i just this board i can also decide a, a group then all the data i can also assign people from here this is really really cool yeah uh, of course and it's it's but obvious so basically it's telling me that if you don't assign this item to yourself you won't be able to see it here because this is my work right so my work will only show in the people column in this people column if i'm assigning it to someone else then definitely the item will not appear in this view but of course it will go to that particular board um but but this is great uh yeah now okay so now going back to our next new feature which is my private task now again this is i clubbed it here because again it's a part of my work i just wanted to show you so uh so this is something new in the my work you, my work has ability to always show you the i uh, task but those tasks has to be on the board, right? Um, so earlier, uh, only the ta uh, this tasks are appearing here because they are on the board. And my work just takes those tasks and makes basically it's just a view, right? Just like your view on the board, it's just a view, but it is view of all the boards, but it's again filter the task which is assigned to you. But now what Monday has launched is like private tasks. So basically it's a to-do list for you so these are like a private task right so it's a to-do list and the task will stay appear here only so basically let's say i am my i am today i'm i want i want to work on something and this is not on the board is just for my knowledge but of course uh, rather than opening up the notepad or another software where i want to note these tasks why not on Monday itself, right? I think that has triggered this, that where do my, I don't want those, may, may not be the tasks which are, may not be on the board, but it's just for my, my work, right? I want to 
achieve something and then there is a task which is assigned to me but for that to in order to complete that task i have some task which is which should be done by me so it's just for my to do list so now we can do that so i just have to uh, contact outlook 365 right so this is like personal task to me right it just cannot be on the board because it's something my manager asked me to do so i just but i still have to track it right so then before this there was no place where i can track or maybe i have to open the oh, have a new board which is just a private board and add a task here but then and then once because these tasks are like uh, ongoing task right so then that once that task is over we don't have to do anything about that task right so keeping it on a board may not be a, a good idea so monday monday came up with this this is like a to do list here and also you can mention its priority and also the great thing is monday is so good at it which he which monday as good at it and it has used it here that add a reminder meaning in 3 hours or in tomorrow or no reminder you can set but in 3 hours i want to be reminded about this right so i have that so so basically unless i click tick mark it it will give me this reminder so basically it's going to remind me in 3 hours and then plus it's here too right so whenever i go here i can see the task right and once i'm done with it i just say done okay so now that task goes away and that's what the to do list is once you do it it goes away okay it's it comes here basically in done also because coming up next it came and it took today's time but if let's say if it's for tomorrow or uh, some day right so then you can just mention here or later you can add a new task from here too okay so that was a uh, to do list which which i call it as my private task and this was my work okay monday monday launch these two things now the third feature we are going to look at is a reply directly in email so this is when this feature came out i was like jumping on my chair because it it's so cool and you're going to look at it what i mean by it so um all of you must be in so much love with this plus sign here right already because monday is if you if you know if you are using monday it's almost like excel but of course much more than excel right you have rows columns you have person columns so that somebody can remind you and you know which we can mo do more things automations and reminders with this person column then you have formula column just like excel and then the status column and then you can build automation and things like that but the the, the most used feature of monday is you can interact with your co co communication and collaboration you can interact with your team right from here all you have to do is just mention the name right so i'm going to actually show you let's say there is something some uh my manager assume that this is written by my manager and they are asking me hey shweta can you update me about this right okay and then just ask me question okay now whenever you know that whenever somebody asks you something mentions you something you get a email Okay, I just got an email. What a timing! So I get an email saying that here. I get an email saying that, hey, can you update about this item? The time is also here. So you know that now you see this is new. So you say you see you can like this uh, comment over here. Okay, good. But what was happening is whenever you used to like it. it will the tab will open monday.com in the next tab right and then of course it will be automatically liked here uh but now 
you can see here, see, reply to this email and it will magically appear in one day. Meaning they're saying reply. So if you click this, you, you can see reply on monday.com. So it's going to open monday.com slide uh, on the site tab. But we don't want that because then, you know, if you're not logged in or something, then you'll have to uh, put the, uh, you'll have to add the uh, user ID, passwords and things like that. But what Monday launched is that replying to this email, meaning I just reply. So you know that this is a system email. So you never email, uh, you never reply to system or, or system generated email. But Monday launched this and see the magic now. Actually, this is the magic. So I just replied and hey, thanks for checking. Here is the update. Okay. Test. Please let me know you have any questions. Okay. And that's it. Set. So of course, I'm on monday.com, then definitely I can reply it from here itself, right? But what if I'm on a different platform? I'm on Outlook. Uh, but I so basically it's handy for me to just send an email from here, right? Uh, so now what monday.com is done is I just maybe, yeah. So, oh, I, did, I didn't even have to refresh it. So you see now it's automatically come here that, hey, thanks for exactly my message without anything and so it looks like okay i am on monday.com and i have written of course if i'm on monday.com if somebody mentions them and i'm it's open on my screen then definitely you can uh mention it here but what if i'm somewhere outside and i just see it and i just reply to that email and it goes to monday.com that person is because when he writes it that manager writes it he's on monday right so immediately he gets to see on monday.com and plus it's there on your email too so this is so cool because uh i think um some of the other platforms had this and monday and then there was a request and monday is so good at tracking these new features request if you know there is a tab in monday where you can submit the idea and monday is really it's really good with that idea management page it's really somebody really reads those requests of idea and go through them and then they, there is actually a uh that you get if you have if your idea is uh liked by so many people or there are similar requests monday segregates them into the each request and they actually tell you also what is the status of this particular idea so um so i think this was most wanted and monday launched it and it's working seamlessly so thank you monday.com Okay, so our next one is uh, Monday.com integration connection management. So this one, uh, for this one, I would like to again show you this board over here. Okay, so integration management, you know that uh, in the automation section, actually, if you go to that automation, now you can see, so this is something Monday.com added, which is connection, right? So now on this, you can actually see uh, all your apps which are connected, right? And also the boards and also the last updated, like how many years ago. And if it is some, for some reason, uh, if it is disconnected, maybe your harvest, um, a part, uh, like, you know, there was some changes in the column or something like that. And because of that, the integration, bo integration broke, right? Um, so, so this appears here that this is disconnected. And then you can reconnect it again. Of course, it's going to ask you the authentication. Now, let me just do uh, um, Outlook here and show you what happens. Definitely, it will ask you for authentication and you're going to do that step again. But but this is so cool that you can, you know, at least see. Okay, I'm going to go back. Yeah. You can see what is the disconnection. Earlier, uh, if particular let's say you are expecting some integration or automation to work and it not it did not work then you have to go into the automation and integration and check okay what happened and go into the run history and things like that but now because of this connection management you can very well see what is the status and um also you can 
if there are like so many apps then of course you can also use this filter right um so that's that and also admin also on the admin page also there is uh app connection but that's only for admin uh So here also we have connection, connection, right? But but this this will show for the all the boards, right? It will appear it in a sec. So and of course everybody doesn't have admin access, but uh, but for some reason if the integration is broken, then you don't have to ask uh, your admin to check this uh, particular thing. But you yourself can go into your go onto your board and um, check the integration connection, okay? Awesome.